Electronium. We've been watching this coin for a long time, and we haven't made a video on them up until this point because there's so many out there. There's a million different videos talking about what they do, what they want to do. Um, they're very ambitious. They've gotten a lot of flack lately because of some security issues and technical issues. Um, they've been bringing new people onto the team to help out with that. But in the midst of everything, they also just filed a patent related to how vendors, merchants can um, use their cryptocurrency and their network for transactions with their customers. Um, so we felt like this video should be made to give you guys some information around that patent, what it does, and some of our thoughts on it. Yeah. Yeah, so the patent itself talks about transactions and, in particular, instant transactions between vendors and customers. So when you go to the store, you can't, you can't wait for three minutes or ten minutes, whatever it is, for your transaction to go through. The, the store, I mean, the store just would never allow that. So instead, we, what these stores kind of want to see is they want to see a way to process transactions quickly, so that way they can get you in and out of the door. You know, their their main goal is to get as many customers in, many customers out, as quickly as possible. So, <clears throat> so what Electronium's done is they've created this technology to allow this to happen, and it's interesting because their technology is not the fastest so so their their blockchain itself isn't the fastest it's three minute block times every three minutes a new block goes off and uh and and uh, new transactions get processed so so they they had to come up with a way to make that faster because again their main goal is mass adoption and they need a way for vendors to easily set up and interact with their their system and their cryptocurrency. So this this patent and this technology is what they've come up with essentially. So <clears throat> so the interesting thing is that like I said their blockchain isn't that fast. So what they've done is they've circumvented that and with this new system the new system is going to work with the wallets that people have set up on their website, and it'll allow them to tap into those wallets to then quickly quickly transfer coins to a vendor. Their system will keep track of the coins in these wallets, and over time, it'll spit those transactions back out onto the blockchain. A lot of the specifics haven't been really revealed publicly. Uh, we haven't gone and searched for the patent in terms of uh, seeing if it's out there on the web open for everybody to, to view yet. But uh, they have said that it's over about 100 pages worth of documents uh, detailing how the system works. Um, there's also a portion of it that talks about subscription services as well. So they do have a way for you to subscribe to different services, again, using, using Electronium. And also, their patent talks about using uh, other coins as well, for example, Ethereum and Bitcoin. But <clears throat> again, this is coming from a team that has been seen as being lacking in the technology department in terms of their ability to implement uh, software services. So it's it, it's it, it's neat to see that this is the team that is pushing this across the line on a global scale, uh, getting this patent. Um, they do claim that it's going to allow them to secure more deals with uh, telecom providers and outside of that, uh, other organizations that are interested in working with Electronium. So it'll be nice to see if they are actually able to take what is their stronger half of their business, their marketing side, and really capitalize off of this. But again, this is this is all for their purposes of pushing for mass adoption. Um, the scary part about the whole thing is that it it's a centralized system, so it takes away from the security and the scale of the uh, the security is really the biggest thing because what's happening is you're you're allowing a central point or you're you're allowing a system to act as a central point to be attacked. So uh, hackers may may want to attack this central system that's uh, safeguarding the wallets and preventing double spend and things of that nature. 
and allowing these transactions to go through between the vendor and the customers. So it'll be interesting to see what they're able to do in terms of securing that. Uh, will they be able to decentralize it at all? Again, we haven't seen the actual papers, but it sounds like it's a centralized system. Uh, so we'll be interested to see what they start, what kind of cookie crumbles or yeah, cookie crumbs they, they give the community in time in terms of what the actual system looks like and how it's implemented. So <clears throat> we are, we're, we, we think that they're still probably on track to potentially achieve their, their goal of mass adoption. At least they're seemingly on track. The, the, the real question becomes, what corners are they going to have to cut to get there? And will it be, will those corners be favorable or not? So, you know, th this isn't investment advice. This isn't uh, anything like that. We're not, we're not advocating for Electronium. It, it's just a project that we think is neat because of their goals, which is mass adoption of cryptocurrency. And uh, it's sparked a lot of interest in a lot of different people uh, with cryptocurrency. So I think it's brought a lot of new people into the game. And, you know, we, we want to see them succeed because if, if they succeed, then that probably means that a lot more people are in the space. And uh, this patent in particular, it could be the big thing that, that opens that door and allows them to succeed. You know, or it could kind of, it could be one of the things that, uh, you know, doesn't do so well for them potentially, but again, they need to they need to capitalize on this. They need to uh, prove out that it is a good system. Um, hopefully, they can answer some of the concerns of the community, some of the concerns that we have in terms of security, and and really push uh, push the coin towards towards the goal of mass adoption. So we're we're excited for the future. We're cautiously optimistic though. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens, but but that's the patent. Those are kind of the pros and cons, and, and how we feel. And we just we thought it was an important topic uh, to cover, kind of both sides of the argument. Yeah. So thanks for listening. Uh, check out some of our other videos about the path to mass adoption for cryptocurrency. Yeah. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.